Hi everyone, David here, and in this video, I want to show you guys how to batch process uh, resampling audio files. So, if you, let's say you have an audio file that you have recorded at 96 kilohertz, 24 bit, and you want to downsample it, let's say to 44.1, 16 bit, 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit. This is how you can do it, batch processing with RX standard. So I have RX6 standard, obviously it works with RX7, probably earlier versions as well. I'm not sure, I haven't looked into it, but um, yeah. So just go to batch processing under the window, go batch processing, and here is where you will do the, the processing for this. So uh, you can create presets here. So I have one created here, but I'll show you guys how to do it from scratch. So you press add, you can double click to say if you wanna rename it. And then what the area you want to look at is here, processing steps. You can add one. And then here is where you choose the RX plugin. So for this instance, for resampling, we're going to choose the resampling plugin. So resample. We're going to do custom settings. And at 44.1. That's good. So we're going to press record to keep those settings. And we're going to keep the same file name. This is uh, to, to do with the file name. So in the same, we're going to keep the results to the same folder, keep the same file names, wave format, and that should be good to go. So I'm just going to grab some sounds here that I have ready. And import them into here. There you go. And now this is where you want to choose uh, the file folder. So like I said, this one's just going to stay in the original file. And you're going to want to set the output options here. So if you're keeping the same sample format, it's going to keep it at 24-bit. If you wanted to, if, let's say if, if you're already at 24-bit and you want to go lower to 16, this is where you put it in, 16-bit. So as you saw before, it didn't show up until I put in the samples in here. So that's something else you have to do. So re the resample here only changes the sampling rate. So if you have 96, you can go down. Uh, to 44.1 or lower if you want other one. Uh, don't know why you would, but you know, 48 I guess is a standard one. 96, 48, 44.1. And uh, then once you have the samples in, this is where you can choose to go down to 16 bit or stay at 24 if you want. And then you just hit process and then it's gonna process them into the original folder. If you wanted to change folder, you can just choose your folder here, go into your computer, choose the folder and the loca exact location where you want it and then press process. And that's basically it. You'll have your, that you can batch process hundreds of audio files this way really quick, really easy. And yeah, so I hope you guys found that useful. If you did, please leave like a thumbs up. If you guys have any other thoughts or questions you guys have about sound design, uh, leave it in the, in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to create a video for you guys. Also check the description for my email and newsletter to join. This is where I offer the best tips, advice, and uh, everything about having career sound design and creating sound design. So if that's interest you guys, uh, check it out there. And that's it for now, I think. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.